Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. I am really happy to announce that in version 26.5 we've added the global sections and wraps. How does it work? In short, these are blocks you can create in templates and later populate them anywhere on site you like. And later, if you need to change something in such section or wrap because you simply changed your mind or did a mistake, all you have to do is make this change in one place and it will populate across all places where such global container was put. This solution will certainly save you a lot of work and time. So today I would like to show you how to recreate the section you actually see on my screen with the cables and I will create this section as a global section and later I will put it in the content. Okay, so uh, the first thing we have to jump in into the templates section and add a new one. Uh, I just forgot to tell you also that we've just refreshed the template section and if you look on the screen right now you will see a nice colors uh, we just did it and due to some requests from our customers uh, that been asking if we can do something to expose uh, the type of the templates more so uh, for each tab we put the color and the same color we used uh, for each uh, template to make it more visible I hope you're gonna like it because uh, to be honest I'm working with it since few days and for me it's really great okay so let's go back to the template creation and right now I have to choose the global section and let's type the name maybe just the global section okay and we can create the template right now uh, so uh, as soon as we've been uh, redirected to the bee builder uh, I will create a section that I al just already told you that I'm going to create
Okay, so uh, the section is ready and we can now put this section into the page content build with the B Builder. So uh, let's jump into the second tab and as you can see, uh, it's just a regular page with some B Builder content populated. And um, let's say I want to add this global section just created. Uh, on just between the footer and the section services you actually see on the screen. Uh, so to do this, all you have to do is just add a new section. And right now, if there are any sections created, the global sections or wraps, you will see the green button called the global sections. And all you have to do is click on that button and choose the section you've already created. Uh, this section would look a little bit different in the backend because if you will hover over it, uh, you can't edit it just like any other page content, but it's just uh, who the green color and the wrap will be the gray color. And uh, what the only thing you can do with this section is just change it to the other one or to the default one, uh, remove it, or just move into another place on that page. But if you'd like to edit this section, you have to click on this Edit Global Section button and uh, the B-Builder with that section will open in a new window. Okay, let's close this window as I want to show you another way to put uh, the global section wrap. Uh, I will just remove this one right now. And let's say, that you already have a section that you, for example, don't like on the page and just want to replace this section with a global one. In such case, all you have to do is go to the settings of that section you would like to replace and in the advanced tab, at the very bottom, you will have a global section tab. And right now, all I have to do is choose the section I would like to replace the existing one and that's it. As you can see, the section I already have on the page in the B-Builder has been replaced with the global section. I really hope that this feature would improve your workflow a lot as it's a huge time saver. Just imagine having same section across whole website that has for example 20 pages. Normally, if you would like to change something in such section on all pages, you would need to open all 20 pages and make change in each. But from now on, all you need to do is open previously created global section and make change in one place. Hope you're gonna like it and we'll use it for future projects. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.